The Avatar live action is something I've been waiting for for years, and Netflix has finally posted their first, well, poster for it. And I'm not gonna lie, I can see Momo, I can see Aang, I can see Katara, I can see Sokka, they look good. I can't wait to see Upper more, but like, they all look pretty damn good. So that just gave me a bit of the Avatar nostalgia. If you guys have only recently been following me, you probably don't know this about my channel, but I'm a huge, huge, huge Avatar fan. It's pretty much one of my favorite TV shows. And to celebrate the fact that the trailer is coming out tomorrow, or maybe even might be out by the time you're watching this video, I thought let's show off something brand new that's Avatar related that you guys haven't seen before. So hey guys and welcome to the amazing Avatar Bedrock add-on which adds in all of the elements, air, water, fire, earth, an Avatar mode including the Avatar state, a whole custom setting your move system which is complex and I'll get to into a second, along with all the other elements we have spirit, projectile, lightning, combustion, blood, healing, metal, and lava bed Ending, all added alongside those. Uh, and I'm going to pick Spirit just because I think that sounds the coolest. This is going to be a very big add-on to show. I'm probably not going to be able to show everything. But anyway, uh, for now, let's jump straight in to this add-on because this add-on is massive. We have so many different moves. It's going to be a little bit hard to showcase with how many there actually are, but we have Air Blast, Air Leap, Air Push, Air Pull, Air Launch, uh, Air Shockwave, Air Bubble, Air Rush, Air Vanish, Air Tornado, Air Artillery, <laughs> Elytra Boost, Air Ball. Wait, wait hold on. i got to see that real quick. And then if we go to our first slot over here and then double click shift Ooh, oh, damn, it's that move. I thought it was going to be the one that, like, you know, we could summon the ball under our feet and ride on it. Ah, damn it. Then we have triple air blast, air spirit, water spear, water whip, water vanish, water shield, water launch, frost walker, ice cage, ice spike, ice throw, water blade boost, earth pillar, earth burrow, earth shove, earth sh What the f- There's so many different abilities. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through this. Oh, we even have the avatar state, supercharged air shove, supercharged earth shield. What? We're going to go through these real quick, and I'm just going to grab 10 of my favorites because obviously I can set these for how many slots is it 10 or 9 I can set up to 9 different abilities so let's quickly do that real quick just to get a good feel for what all of these can do and we're going to go with some of the ridiculous ones like air tornado that sounds great and now with all of those set we can see all of our move sets set across there and hey if you don't want to have to redo that every time we can go down here go move sets and then create brand new move set and we'll call this move set uh avatar mode yeah there we go bang you can't use that character oh wait did I put a space in it avatar mode is that gonna work Bang. Yeah, there we go. And now, just like that, we have every single ability set. You can see in the bottom right, oh, sorry, bottom left, every single ability listed down below. Oh, I'm really excited. Let's see what Air Tornado is. Air Tornado. Who? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the piggy, no. <laughs> Might need to grab some friends to try this out on real quick. So, uh, shift, click again. Bro. Oh, so we literally just create a tornado made of air. Let's see that in third person real quick, because I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but our arm. Oh, <laughs> oh yo, we actually got a full animation for it. That is sick. Can I, uh, can I spam it. So that's one. No, so I have to wait for that bar to fill back up. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's got like a restriction of how often you can use it, but they're combining it with like air spirit. Uh, is this a uh, double shift? <gasps> oh, oh <laughs> wait. Oh, we just leave our spirit form there and then what? Double click again? Or is it a limited thing? So I can like look now underground and, oh, and I'm back. Ah! Air spirit. And then we leave our body there. And I could just have a quick scan. And beneath me, I could look around. I could scan everywhere. And that's just our form. We've just left ourselves over here. And I can, yep. And then I can step back. Ah! That is so cool. Then we have all of the water bending abilities, or just some of them. If I jump in some water, you'll see I grab a little bit of water that starts spinning around me. That is all of the water I can use up for my ability. So if I use something like Water Whip, which grabs the opponent and flings them over my head, or what? <laughs> then yeah, uh, you can see, woo! <laughs> Just how cool that looks. But the more water we use up, the bubble around us is actually getting smaller. So if I use it again, uh, whoa, oh, we weren't in range that time. Use it again. No, come on, water whip. Yeah, there we go. The bubble now is like one pixel. So if I, I think, use it one more time, come here, cow. So I grab you, water whip. There we go. And we can do it. There we go. We can do it only a single more time. So using it again, there we go. And that is, uh, wait, no, wait, 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 we have it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> how many times can I use this ability? Grab, water whip. Yeah, there we go. And that is it. So that is used up all of my water. So if I try and do it now, that I'm not in any water or anything, use it. You don't have enough water to do that. To get more water, I have to jump in some water again. And just like that, I can use Water Whip yet again. Pretty easy. Same goes for the ice case. So if I left click or is it double click? Yeah, boy. Oh, that is sick. So it just prisons them for a few seconds, but I'm pretty sure it's using up my eye. Is it using the water? Yeah, definitely. You can see the pixels getting smaller and smaller until I use it again. Oh, use it again. There we go. And we can probably do it one more time. And let's just Water Whip him. Boop. And grab. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And ice cage. Yes. 
What? This mod has been, or should I say this add-on, has been made so well. Genuinely, I can't wait for when this add-on does get updated because um, oh, I hate to break it to people that want to try this out. The only way for you to install this right now is you need to go back to 1.20.1. That's what this add-on runs on. And at the moment, well, Bedrock Edition isn't on that version. So only if you know how to downgrade your version of Bedrock will you be able to play this mod. But don't worry, guys, they are working on an update and it will hopefully be out very soon, especially with people, you know, trying to actually play it more. I'm sure the developer is going to get it updated very, very soon. But now moving on to the Earth Bending abilities. We got three to see here, starting with Earth Throw. So Earth Throw. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. And then click. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why there's fire. I mean, that. I mean, it does explode. So, Earth Throw. Wait a minute. So, let's throw that again. Hold on. So, let's see the animation. Earth Throw. No, Earth Throw. Uh, Earth Throw. Crap. Earth Throw. Yes. Oh, the little animation is so good. And then let's just go. Sorry, pig. Whoop. <laughs> and Earth Throw. Grab that. Whoop. Oh, wow. That's got some weight to it. Grab another block. There we go. And Piggy, where did you go? Oh, okay. So, you can't hold it forever. Okay. That's that's fair enough. Grab another block. There we go. Sorry, pig. Whoop. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Then we got Earth Pillar, which I think was double shift. Or was this Earth Click? Oh. Oh, okay, so that just raises us. Okay, that's pretty cool. Earth pillar. Oh, that's that's pretty sick. I mean, I wish it was like a earth pillar jump and like we got ricocheted high up in the air and took no fall damage, but still pretty cool. And then ultimate rock blast. What's this? Boop. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to see that in first person. Earth click. So grab one, two, three. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, yes. He's done a really good job capturing the earth bending, water bending, and air bending styles and putting that in bedrock. Generally, these are all pretty much what I want them to be. Like this, <laughs> this is so cool. But now let's quickly see what fire does. Starting with fire blast. So uh, click shift. What? Wait, 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 wait. We have blue fire? Is that because we're a max level firebender? If so, that is sick. We'll lower our level in a second just to see if that actually does make a difference. But fire blast, that is that is so cool. The blue fire looks awesome. My hold shift, does it keep using it? No, it doesn't. Okay, what about holding click? Hold click. No, so it's just a single blast of fire. That's still pretty cool. And now fire final. Click, click. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, oh, click. What is this doing? I'm just I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> What just happened? What just happened? Did I what? Did I just self-destruct? Come on, I want to see something better than that. Let's try another one out. Supercharged fire shockwave. Yeah, that sounds a bit better. There we go. Submit that one. Let's see what this one does. Supercharged fire shockwave. Double click. Oh, you must be in the avatar state. All right, yeah, sure. Say less, say less. <laughs> there we go. So now if I double click here, avatar state. Oh, wait, yo. <laughs> Check out the freaking ring. Okay. All right, all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. Let's see it. Let's see it. Supercharged shockwave. What? Yes. Okay, that is sick. <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to see that again. Boom. Oh. <laughs> all right. Let's see all the supercharged moves. I've got to see them all now. There we go. We have set all of those. So we have supercharged air shove. Let's see that one first. Is that a shift click? Oh. Whoa. Wait. Where did that sheep go? Wait, 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 wait. I need to see that again. Uh, shift click. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming they just get sent to space. Oh, that is terrible. I mean, it's amazing. I love everything about it, but that is so mean. Then we got supercharged frost breath. Can we use that in Avatar State even without water? No, we still need to get some water. Okay, let's go grab some. Hop in the water real quick. There we go. Now we got a little bit of water. Supercharged frost breath. I'm assuming we're just going to freeze the people that are near us. Uh, shift click. Oh, oh, wait. Yo, did you see that? That actually looks really cool. If I use that, it just surrounds every entity that's near me with this freezing liquid, which I'm assuming just stops them from being able to move, which is still pretty simple, but pretty damn cool. And then we got supercharged earth shield. Let's see this one, maybe in third person. So earth shield. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my goodness, gosh, this looks awesome. That is so cool. I mean, a spear in Minecraft, that looks so weird. Ah, my eyes. Oh, that is so cool. Can we like end Avatar State? And there we go, we're out of it. What? That is, oh, that is sick. Now to everyone wondering, don't worry guys, you don't start with every single ability. As a matter of fact, just to show you guys, I'm gonna jump out of this world and jump back in a world where I don't have the dev stuff. Because if you don't know, uh, I have given myself all of the dev uh, <laughs> abilities, as you can see here. <laughs> so what if you didn't have that? Let's, so let's show off what would happen and if you didn't have any of the dev abilities. So let's say you spawn in the world. I have selected, as you can tell, uh, <laughs> yeah, water breathing. So there we go, I'll select it again so you can see. But once you have a bending selected, we can then go into our slots and you'll be able to see very quickly. Let's quickly scroll up, go to my first slot. We only have a single ability, but if I set that and go uh, sneak punch and then scroll back down and click submit. Now, when I use sneak punch, let's test it out on these cows. Sorry guys, sneak punch, you'll see that I use it up in the top left, but the more I use it, we level up and that is leveling up our water bending. And now as you 
you can see, because I am leveling up, I am unlocking new abilities. I've already gotten to, there we go, level four, which has gotten us four new abilities from, what were they? Water Spear, Water Shield, Water Whip, Water Vanish, Water Shield, and Water Launch, just from using this ability a few times. It works the same with every single element. So if I open up this menu again, go to select slots, and then scroll back up. I can then go to my next ability and now set Water Spear, oh, I can set Water Whip, there we go, and make that a, a shift click, there we go. Then go my third ability, make that a Water Vanish, make that a double shift click, and then we have Water Shield, which I'll also make a double shift click. And you can set this up however you'd like. All of this is completely unique to each player. Oh, and a cool thing is if I say hi in chat like that, hi, bang, you can see my uh, co super custom username actually has the water emblem right next to it. So if I was a firebender, it would show up that I'm a firebender. So now if I use water shield, so double click, we make a little shield around us and just, oh, bro, the animation on top of it, just, it's so good. Water vanish, whoop, <laughs> and I'm gone. <laughs> Oh, that is amazing. And then, of course, water whip. Whoop, grab you. Wing. Oh, I'm sorry, cow. Yes. And from what I'm aware, I'm pretty sure once we get to... Whoop, sorry, guys. I don't mean to vanish on you. But once we get to... I'm pretty sure it's level 50 with each of the abilities. Then that is when we'll be able to unlock some of the sub elements. For water bending, we still will be able to use frost bending. But when we showed off the sub elements before, you saw... Uh, let's quickly scroll back down. Admin menu. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I need to do this again. Play a level. Let's just quickly up ourselves to level 50. Because I'm pretty sure at level 50 is that that's where we get to pick a sub element. Whoa, what's this? Skill essence, I think I've got to use one of those. There we go. Now we open up this and as you can see, because I'm a waterbender, I can pick between blood and healing. Healing lets me heal myself and other players with a few new moves or blood lets me freeze other players <laughs> in place on full moons with a new move. Wait, so it actually goes off the moon cycle? Oh, we got to see that. We got to see that. If you guys would like me to jump into this mod with a few friends in the future and maybe try some PVP matches or heck, maybe even a bedrock series, be sure to let me know down below because, oh man, the Avatar series I used to do went so hard. That was unnecessarily cool. Let's uh scroll down though. We could probably see we might have. There it is. Blood bending. Okay. Okay. We need to see blood bending. We need to see it. Can I use it when I don't have a full moon? No. So you need to increase power or master at level 100. Okay. Uh, let's set it to night real quick. Time set night. Oh, let's go. Sorry. Midnight. Yeah, that's much better. And what moon cycle we have? Uh, that's not the moon cycle we need. <laughs> not that moon cycle. Wait, wait, hold on. Just to test it. We need to make sure this works. So uh, blood bending. No, nope, it needs to be a full moon. Okay, the game's very specific about that one. Another quarter moon. Keep going. We need to see it until we eventually get to the full moon aspect. No, half moon. We're getting closer. We're nearly there. Can I use it yet? No, still can't use it. <laughs> Man, it is actually spot on. Hold on, so one more time. Then we'll add another bit. There it is. The full moon is out. So bloodbending. Oh, what? What's that? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Can I use it on a skeleton? Oh, <laughs> Again, <laughs> that is so cool. I could use that, combine that with the other thing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I have a sword, then we go blood bending. There we go, and oh, yes, that is so cool. We could actually just grab things. So blood bending the cow. Sorry, bro, uh, did it work? Oh, it didn't work because he was out of range. Okay, try again, blood bending. There we go, boop, yes. Doesn't work on like an enderman though. Hey, enderman, what's up? I'm about to try some blood bending on you. Grab, blood bending, yo. Oh, it does, it actually does. That is sick. I mean, the range is a little bit restrictive, but but, oh, oh, sorry, villager. <laughs> But even so, could I like uh, grab a pig? There we go. Grab the pig and then put him in the walls. Oh, oh my goodness. Gosh, you can't. What? What? I'm freaking out because of how cool this actually is. That is so freaking cool. All right, hold on. Before I end this video off now, let's show off one more of the elements. I think one more of the elements is going to be fair. So we'll jump into the admin menu, change my level back to one. And now this time for our element, let's go with uh, oh, thinking earth because I can try out metal bending. But I do want to see if fire changes color depending on our level. So let's go fire bending and there we go, the fire bending aspect. Just to show off what I said earlier, if I say hi in chat right now, you can see I've got the fire emblem logo next to my name, which is just such a nice attention to detail. But now let's go through our abilities and we should only have one ability we can use. So that, yes, fire blast, sneak punch. There we go. And just like with water bending, if I sneak punch, Bang! Oh, it is red! We have some red fire bending, and well, we can already see that we're unlocking new and newer abilities. The more of this we use, the more our abilities will level up, and our level will go up. But, like I said, with the water, if you hit level 50, we should get some sub-elements. So let's quickly go into this and change our level up. Edit player. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Play a level, and set that to level 52, just to see if it actually ooh, does what I said. So now I right-click the bending scroll, and yes, we have two options we can pick. Lightning and combustion. I'm gonna go with lightning, because lightning just sounds so 
for cooldowns now. I mean, we get two new moves. Oh, I get one super long range attack. Yeah, now lightning sounds sick. There we go. And now that we have lightning unlocked, can I uh, go back into my elements and just quickly go through the moves? There they all are. Look at all those abilities. Oh, that is sick. All right, and then we have lightning strike and lightning smite. Ooh, all right. Okay, we're gonna see both of these real quick because I, I need to see I need to see lightning bending before we end this video off. And of course, while I'm at it, I may as well jump into some of the other abilities as well. I mean, while we're here. <laughs> now we are level 50. So does that mean our fire bending is still red? It is. So once you master fire bending, you get the blue fire. That is, that is just, oh, the attention to detail is so good. Then we got fire finder, which is something very, oh, wait, 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 fire finder. Oh, so it's like a, a homing missile. So it just locks on to the nearest. That's cool. So it locks onto the nearest target. What? Oh, that is sick. Fire shield, which is another shift click. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the little fire effect, the whoosh. I like that. And then fire sprint. Oh, oh, we get some speed and we just get those fire put behind us. That is really cool. Fire bomb, I'm assuming is going to be pretty simple. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is really good. Boop. Yes, I like how slow the charge time is. I will actually put up on screen the actual developer. The, the actual developer. Like, who else would develop, Troy? But the developer for this mod has also stated with each of the elements. Here's all the statistics on screen. They have different levels of stats. Some do higher damage. Some have higher defense. Some have higher other things. This is Like, this mod has been so well made. I am just shocked. But now, let's see lightning. Let's see this. So, lightning strike. Oh! <laughs> Yes! And then lightning smite. Oh, Ooh, okay, 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 okay. They both seem to do the same thing, but that is so cool. I am going mad with power right now. That is sick. All right, and it does have a bit of range on it. I don't know what the difference between smite and strike is. It looks like one might be a little bit stronger than the other, but I don't know. I could be imagining things there. And now I guess while we're at it, we may as well see the sub bending for the other elements, right? <laughs> we got to, we got to, right? But surely, let's see what air's got for us. So if I click this, oh, I'm going to have to quickly set myself back to level one. Submit. I'll edit level and level 53, just in case. There, there we go. And now what does air get? Ah, oh, so air gets spirit and projectile. We saw one of the spirit moves earlier, but projectile bends the air around your arrows so they never miss again. Huh? 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 Wait, 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 wait. So if I grab a bow and grab, grab some arrows, there is no way. Uh, boop. Oh, wait. Yo, trick shot. Boop. <laughs> Yo, trick shot. Boop. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That is so cool. Oh, shit. So, yo, sorry, shit. Boop. <laughs> it just flies straight at him. That is so cool. So, so cool. Oh, my. Like, sorry, pig. And boom. Does it? Oh, oh, sheep. Sorry. Yeah, I guess it goes for the nearest target. That is, that is such a cool gimmick. I love that. That is like so helpful for just basic Minecraft stuff. If you suck with a bow, you could get this ability and just, I mean, still suck, but <laughs> at least it's making you hit your target this time. That is so nifty. I love that. And of course, now saving the best for last, let's jump in to earth bending. Ah, uh, setting my level all the way back to one again. And uh, back all the way down, level one. There we go. And then let's choose earth bending there. There we go. All right, sick. I'm excited for this one. Because metal bending, in my opinion, a lot of things never get metal bending right. I want metal bending to be that powerful. Like, I, if I have a shield, I can manipulate it. If I have a sword, I can throw it at enemies because it's made of metal. If I have... Oh, gosh, there we go. But if I just have anything metal related near me, I can manipulate it in some way. Like, whether that be making armor from thin air or th should I say from like a metal block or something? I don't know, but let's have a look. So open this and there we go. We can do metal or lava. Oh, I'm going to save one of them because I know you guys are going to probably want a full showcase in the future. But for now, let's see. Metal. Get extra iron when mining and a strength effect when mining iron, as well as two new moves, plus the ability to smelt raw iron instantly by right-clicking. Oh, oh, okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see those two new moves and try out the smelting ability as well. So the first move we get is metal power-up, which might be the armor ability I was talking about. So I'll make that double-click shift. And then the other ability we get is metal blast, which I'll make a sneak punch ability, okay? Let's see what these can do, I guess. Of course, we just need to make sure we got some iron on us. So let's grab some raw iron and normal iron. And to make sure there's no funny business, jump in survival just to make sure. Right-clicking this should turn it into iron. Right-click. No, it does. maybe it means something else. I'm not too, not too sure unless uh, metal burst. <gasps> oh, metal burst. Oh, it actually uses the metal in our inventory as well. Yes. Okay. And then metal power up. What's this do? Metal power up. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, it gives us a boost in power. I thought it was going to give us some like iron armor, but that is still really cool. I wish it was a slightly different thing, but it does use up the metal in our inventory and just gives us a health boost and what looks like resistance to fire, which isn't crazy, but still sick. Nothing crazy, but still that is really cool. Now, there are some things I still haven't even shown, like the skill tree system, which allows me to up my utility, mobility, defense, or my offense. As you can see, at, like, what's this? Creative fin- Huh? I've upgraded that and we can now earth rend. Huh? Huh? Then there's some other things, like if we go here, I oh, I need to use those orbs. Okay, so that's what the orbs are used for. That makes more sense now. So if I use that, use that, use that, use that, and then open up the bending scroll and then go into the skill tree, we have five I can use now so I can up my offense again. Solid punch. Make your punches stronger by using earth. No way. Is it actually just making my punches stronger? Or is that like a, is it a new move? Has it act? Huh? Th this is the stuff that I don't know about. Has it added a new move or is it like, what is it? So earth pillar, earth burrow, earth shove. Yeah, 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 yeah. There they are. We have new, a new thing. Earth red or earth rend. I don't know if I'm saying that move wrong. Uh, probably. Hey, zombie. But now if I use earth rend, bang. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, zombie. What are you going to do against that? Oh, friend again. <laughs> How you doing down there? Oh, sorry, bro. Yeah, no, let's just, let's, hey, bro, bro, bro. No, I want you to go underground. There we go. And jump in. There we go. <laughs> That is sick. So everything I have shown might not be even the max. That's what I mean. If you guys want to see a full mod showcase or a full add-on showcase, then you know what to do. Be sure to like the video. But now with that said, let's let's check out the last few ones because I haven't upgraded any of my other abilities. Like if I open up the skill tree again and go defense, tough armor, yeah, 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 yeah. That is so cool. A skill tree. Let's upgrade one more thing. Mobility, nature. And this is just earth bending. This is just the earth bending. I don't know what fire. I don't know what water. I don't know what air have to offer. But, but oh man, this is so freaking cool. Along with that, we can also see our character's stats and we can also set our home. So if I go here and go uh, village, there we go and go submit, saved home as village. So now when I right click this, I don't know what setting homes does, but if I open it, we can now, hey, there we go. We can teleport to the village. Hey, that's actually really nifty. Honestly, that feels like that feels like something made for the new nation series. I don't know if you guys remember that series, but honestly, that's what it feels like. So if I open up this, uh, let's do a quick before the creeper loses us up, uh, teleport and village. <laughs> Ooh, that is sick. A little overpowered, but I do like it. I do like it. I wish I kind of used up my XP or something, because at the moment, it just feels like I can instantly teleport to my home. But maybe the more I play around with the mod, I'll figure out that it has some limitations in itself. There's also a shop system, which I'm assuming all copper pieces in your inventory will be added to your bank balance. It adds a whole p currency system. What? Is that really necessary in an avatar mod? I, I guess so. I guess it is, because it's here. It's here, isn't it? But there we go, guys. Honestly, yeah, that, that's where I'm probably going to have to end this show. Showcase. This is crazy. If you guys want to see a full showcase, I'm going to set a like goal of 4,000 likes. If this video gets 4,000 likes, then yeah, you can bet I'm jumping in. Honestly, I might even jump in if this video doesn't hit that like goal because this is incredible. And oh man, I'd love to just grab Nathan and just get back in here and see if we can jump in and show off every single thing and have a couple PvP matches, maybe even with a few of my other friends as well, because this is insane and I'd love to see it in the PvP nature. And hey, if you guys want to see an Avatar series in the future, then again, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe. That's the easiest way for you guys to let me know you want to see more. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. And if you want to see my like uh, reaction to the Avatar trailer that's dropping tomorrow, I might, I might post that over on my Twitter or should I say X? Or heck, I might even post it on the second channel. I don't know yet. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to stay tuned to my other socials. My name is Troy. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be sure to see you guys in the next video. See you guys.